I ha- I don't know what to say about this figure. Nope. Nothing. I know I might not. So I am not. This is not going to be a fun toy to review. Nope. Nada. Not fun at all. It's entertaining, but what could be said about the Transformers Prime R.I.D. Robots in Disguise Deluxe Class Arachnid? I don't know. This is this was one of the I was kind of anticipating for this toy to come out. I have not seen any Primo f- figure for this, nor anything. It's a piece. Just look at this. It looks like a, a sardine. A sardine. So I just compare this. Um, and it's taller than a soda can. That's for sure. This thing is too freaking small for a deluxe toy. Look how skinny that is. It does hide kibble pretty well. This thing is a piece of crap. I'm just... Well, this is the only... I found this at a Walmart, and it, it's better to get it for $15 or anywhere. Like, 18 14 wherever you get it. Buy that much. Paid for that much because on eBay and Amazon, the other toy stores will online will you will have to pay thirty dollars or forty or fifty for this piece of crap. I can't. I don't understand why is it a, a figure. Plus, it is. It's the stupidest, suckiest one ever, and they mark it for thirty dollars or something. It's not worth that much. It should be. Seven dollars or something, something better, like that. So, <sighs> okay, I'm gonna read the bio card. Um, I'm not even gonna put my all in it. Conditioned to battle and hardship by her years spent hunting rare creatures across the depths of space, Arachnid is a primed and powerful warrior. She has returned to the surface of Megatron after her long absence, determined to prove herself as a le- leader, no matter who sh- she has to destroy to do it. That is, that sounds like Arachnid, alright, but it's just, wow. She's not that powerful, I don't think. Here's a tiny little minnow. It says, snap on electro stingers. They don't look like stingers. They might. They look like claws. That looks... This looks ridiculous. Triple blade sword. They're propellers, you idiots. You cannot pull that off and make it a blade. Not like Grindor. And also, look at that. All that detail in her legs, and some uh, there's a lot of detail in her, a little bit, but you won't see it in the toy, nada. And just here's her box. Here's the front of it. I'm just gonna pull this back a little bit. So the box looks awesome. Her oh, oh, it looks really cool. And then look. She is a conversion level of one. Easy. That is... I should shoot you, Hasbro, for putting that on your stinking toy. You did not... All your toys are easy. Every single one of them. It's not like your Revenge of the... Not your Revenge of the Fallen, nor your... Dark of the Moon toys, which are, I think, are more superior than these Prime ones. I'm not sure, but here's her technical data. Her strength is five. Really? Yep. You lied, Hasbro, and you and your data. Her strength is five. You said she's a powerful warrior. This is not powerful. A power level of five. Not cool. Not very cool, Hasbro. Nope. Won't buy it. Intelligence of nine and her speed's eight. So, yeah, she is really she's intelligent and has a lot of speed. 
for endurance is four, which is pathetic. I don't know why they keep her so long in the series. At least the last part, last of time we've seen her, she gets frozen in place. So I don't understand why her endurance level is four. She should just, she can blow up. Rank of seven, courage of six, fire blast of five. So that's weak. Skill of six. So basically, her only is her intelligence and her speed, and it's the rest of her is just crap. I don't care. No more. Uh, I cannot say this is one. Uh, the simplicity is one. No detail. Not a secure plastic. Not very secure. So, to transform this piece of crud, first you do is just lift these up. Pull her arms out, because you need to. And it, it, these are pretty hard joints, though. Stiff, overly tight joints. Overly. Fold this thing up. You'll see a cockpit. And this seat is the back of her head, which is stupid and retarded at the same time, so no mobility there. So then you just split her legs. Put, pop her little feet out. So that's that. <laughs> then you just lift this mechanism up to reveal her head. Just slide this up. No clip. Split these right there. To make her look like you have legs. And there is a rack mid right there. Take her hand arms. There's your problem. She doesn't stand up that well. She has tiny, super tiny feet that can't support her, nor support in general. Now her propellers, you just all you have to do there, here is just twist this, mark it right there, twist it, mark it right there. Flip it that way, then lift this up, and put it in this peg. This peg is very weak. You can't really push it. It goes in, but it doesn't really f go. Go in. Let's do the go-go. Here's your piece of dingling. Tom Tom duty. It's stupid. See, these legs don't even... I am really disappointed, Hasbro, in this piece of crap toy. But you're gonna say, Sora, why did you buy this toy? It's like, um, I got it just for collection, and I'm needed for the movie. And just need the Decepticons. More Decepticons. But I, it's just the overall feeling for this toy is poor. I hate this. It's really crappy. No detail. She's just black. So immute. I don't know. Let me go over or her articulation. She, her, you can, her each of her little spider legs can go 360. Yes, this is stupid. This is loose all the time. So I don't. I just probably her arm. Yeah, go 360. Her ar weird arms. It's not in a straight line. Look. Does that look illegitly straight to you? Is it? Nope. No. It looks like it's straight, but it's two alleged pieces. I don't think that is very accurate. A hole in her hand? That's all she has? Really stupid. This is what it looks like. This is my hand, arm, and this is her. That's what it looks like. It, it's painful, I know. It's very painful. This is Satan's project that they put in the minds of Hasbro to put her intricate design. These don't even... 
they fold up all the time. It's just uh, so much crap. It is the crappiest Decepticon out of. She's worse than Knockout. I said it. She's worse than Knockout herself. Okay, her, her weapons are her s little stupid stinger things. They're, they're cool looking, but this is how they suggest you to do it. Nope, I hate this. I hate this idea. It, there's a large amount of space between her hand and her arm. Really retarded. And they are putting some Decepticon. I know you can't see it here, but they did put some. They did some. They have. They put more Decepticon insignia on these, because the original ones didn't have them. This is this is terrible. I suggest make them look like she's has arm that makes them have electro arms, not holding them like a stupid shot. I cannot. Can you hold anything like this? Unless well, like that, though, but... Still, it's just stupid. Very stupid. I'm not, and I can't stop saying how stupid this toy is. So, here she is. I'm gonna only do one comparison. That's her rival RC. They're pretty much the same size. Really the same size. They're all... Well, she... I'm not really doing it that for truth, though, but if you want to know, then here she is with Arachnid. She does have, Arachnid does have good light piping. Oh, her articulation. She doesn't really have any. She could just do side to side. That's it. That is a whoop de doo figure. If my, I'm not going to really justify this toy anymore. I can't find any more things good of I I find nothing good about this figure. It's crap. It it came from the devil's butt and Hasbro's butt. So is the devil's. And I just don't understand why they became lazy with these toys. Bring us breakdown. It is people are demanding the toy so much people have to waste like a hundred and twelve dollars for that toy and it's just retarded I get not understand they wasted on arachnid and other remakes like Thundertron I don't understand why Thundertron has to be in it cup I'm not sure he looks okay but still and rumble they came out too I don't understand why they can't bring breakdown here only known to Japan and it, this is the only. This toy is only good for getting beaten up, like that. Uh, I don't want to break a hurt a good toy. Yep. So much fun beating this toy up. And let's see. And good for getting killed so badly. It's yeah, it's cheap though, but final verdict on this toy it gets. One out of ten. One out of ten. This toy is worthless to buy. Just, if you want it, it's okay, though. It's just, I'm not sure you can modify it if you want it. Well, that's what Hasbro wants you to do. They want you to, and look, it doesn't look like she's transformed at all. It just pop it up, and look, she's still a helicopter. Side view. This is a mess. A total piece of wasted money. This is not worth $30. If you pay $30 for this figure, it, you're wasted a bunch of money. You could actually... You can actually blend... 
go with with your thirty dollars or forty dollars if you wanted this arachnid. Go put it and blend it in with a smoothie, because that is what it, this arachnid is. It is nothing worth nothing. It is crap. I cannot take crappy toys. I have it because I have to have it. And it was there and it was cheap. It's really rare. It doesn't stand up that well. Gosh, it's freaking ticking me off. Now, the Wing Zero. Do not buy this toy. If you want it, it's okay. Uh, just don't buy this piece of crap toy. The Wing Zero is going to punish it in three, two, one. There, it died. It got blasted by an invisible blast. I didn't. There's no effect. So, who cares? If you want to spend something worthwhile, buy the Wing Gundam Zero Custom. I think that's worth more than this piece of crap. I don't care. I'm going to. I just don't know. Anyway, I really didn't want to do this review, but I had to get it out of the way. So, do not buy this. That's my final verdict. So, that's all I have for today. So, I'm going to be... Ah, I don't know. I have other reviews to do, but this it's kind of one of my most disappointing ones I ever reviewed. So, tune in next time. Thanks for li listening, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.